Hi everyone, I'm Nina and in this tutorial we'll be drawing a rose. You can use this tutorial to draw a postcard or any other card to make a tattoo design or to just hang this drawing on your wall. So hit the like button right now, subscribe to see more videos from me and remember to share this video with your friends. And now let's start the tutorial! Before making a sketch of the rose, you should think of its form, of the elements it consists of, because it can be in full bloom or not. And to be honest, it's harder to draw a rose in full bloom. But we're not here to be afraid of challenges, so of course we're going to draw a rose in full bloom. So the inside of the rose looks like a closed bud because the petals are tightly packed. And this inner bud is surrounded by bigger, overlapping each other petals. I will be using red colored pencils. I have a lot of red shades, but basically I will need a bright red, a darker red and um, more like a purple color. I will also need brown and black for the darkest areas and a white pencil for blending. And I need an ordinary pencil with an eraser to sketch. So first I'm drawing the inner bud using a 3H pencil. It's going to look very simple. First I'm drawing a guideline and then an oval that represents the center of my rose. Then I'm drawing the body of the inner bud. It reminds me of a pot or a vase. And this line, this axis we drew in the beginning, should help us to draw it. And now I'm starting to draw the petals, including those curly parts. You know, the petals are kind of curled, curly on top, and it uh, makes the entire shape of the rose look even more complicated. So look at what I'm doing. I'm just moving around the inner bud and drawing one petal after another and doing it in layers, because as I said, they overlap each other. One important thing, don't press hard on your pencil because you will erase some lines later. By the way, lower petals are usually bigger, they are more open and the inner ones are smaller because they are close to each other. You don't have to draw the very same petals, you can skip or add a few.
So this is my rough sketch and I'm going to give it more details, especially in the center. Even though the petals are sitting really tightly there, keep in mind the overlapping thing. The sketch is done and it was the hardest part and it's over. By the way, you can also draw a stem, I will draw it as well, I just decided to do it in the very end. Let's move to the shading part and make this beautiful rose look realistic. Spoiler, it's very simple to color it. I was surprised how fast I did it, so it's officially my favorite part. Okay, so I'm starting from the left uh, because I'm a righty and if I start from the right uh, I will smear everything with my palm. I'm taking the red pencil and filling in the petal. Then I'm adding shadows by using a darker pencil. Then I'm blending everything with a white pencil and adding more shadows using a dark brown pencil. Moving to the next petal. Once again, filling in with red, adding shadows, blending with white and moving to the next petal. Now you understand why I said it was easy. Enjoy watching the process and I'll come back in a few petals. Okay guys, while you are watching how I'm shading the rose petals, I will tell you six fascinating facts about roses. So fact number one, roses are one of the oldest flowers. Archaeologists have discovered rose fossils that date back 35 million years. That is a lot. Fact number two, you can eat roses because roses also grow a berry-shaped fruit called rose hips and apparently it's edible. Fact number three, their fragrance is used in perfumes. But to be honest, I knew about that fact, but I didn't know that it's actually the uh, rose oil. And just one gram of oil, this rose oil, is produced from two thousand roses and this is actually a little bit sad. Fact number four. Each rose color has a different meaning. For example, red roses symbolize love and romance. Pink roses execute grace and elegance. And the vibrant color of the yellow rose represents friendship and cheer. And um, I don't know if you are going to congratulate your older sister or brother who just graduated, you should give them orange roses because they represent 
enthusiasm. Fact number five. The rose is the US national flower. I didn't know about that. You probably could uh, name the uh, national bird, which is an eagle, but not the flower, I guess. Fact number six. The most expensive rose sold for millions of dollars. And to be more specific, for 15 million of dollars. Famous rose breeder David Austin spent 15 years and 5 million breeding a rare rose variety that he called Juliet. And he sold this Juliet for 15.8 million in 2006. That's a lot of money. Well done, David. So that was it. I hope you uh, enjoyed those facts. And if so, remember to tell me in the comments. Maybe you know any other cool facts about roses. When filling in with color, you must remember about the light. For example, the lower petals are darker because of the casting shadows, and the curly parts are lighter because they reflect the light. As I said, I use dark brown and black pencils for the darkest areas.
I wanted to end the tutorial here, but I decided to draw a stem and one leaf. Obviously, I need green pencils now, so I took two. One is darker and one is lighter. A few minutes later, I figured that brown works really well together with green, so I'm using brown to shade right under the rose and to draw spikes. And the leaf is also very simple, I'm filling in with green, uh, blending using a white pencil, shading one half and drawing tiny spikes as well. So now I'm satisfied, I think it looks a lot better. I hope you think the same, guys. And this is the end of my tutorial. Thank you so much for watching till the end. And now you know how to draw a realistic rose. Well done! And remember that if you want to show me your drawing, you can use this hashtag on Instagram and most likely I will see your drawing and maybe even give you a shout out. Thanks again, guys, and see you in the next tutorial. Bye!